welcome to Horrorverse. My name is Cody Hawk, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. I do not have a movie review um, to discuss yet. I'm watching a few movies, I'm going to be doing some notes on, then be doing reviews on those. So I figured for the time being, I'm going to do a uh, collection room tour, I guess you could call it. Um, I mean, this is the only wall you guys usually see in here, but there's a lot. This entire room, um, a lot of stuff you might not even know I collect or like or enjoy. So I figured this would be a nice little different thing to do than the standard review videos. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get right into it. All right guys, so we're gonna get into the room tour now. I'm just gonna basically go, right now you're just looking at a wall, but I'm actually gonna go left to right and bring it all the way around so you guys can see everything in the room and see what I enjoy collecting and maybe you guys enjoy it too and we can talk about it in the comments below or something. So let's get right into it. So first off is this first portion of the wall. Usually, I think you can see most of this in the videos I do, but we'll just show some of the posters, The Shining, um, the newest IT movie. Um, then down here, I'm not going to go in detail and show every single thing. I just forgot to talk about some of this stuff since this is a horror oriented channel and this is my collection I have at the moment in this room of horror things. So right here we got a um, Bride of Frankenstein poster that I got from Universal Studios. It's really cool. A uh, Frankenstein uh, Mego doll that I actually found at Target, which I thought that was pretty awesome. Over here, just some paintings that I got from the BAM box. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but if you do, then you should, might even have some of these. I don't know. So I got this one, and then down below that, I got this uh, groovy Evil Dead one right here. And then these are actually my um, Riptor Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights badges that I have. Um, we've been doing that for about three years, three, four years in a row now, so I just have those hung up. Um, that one, I think I actually got that one at a Comic Con. It's signed by the artist somewhere, I believe. Maybe this one wasn't it. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Uh, I don't know. But I know I got this at a Comic Con. I thought I got it signed, but maybe not. Right here is just a, um, a haunted house poster from a, a local place that had a haunted house around here. Next to this, I have the Batman vs. Predator, which I thought was pretty cool. And then here, I mean, it's not horror I'm just going to show it off for some of my Funko Pops. Which you'll see in a moment that I have a shit ton of Funko Pops. So you know, I was get used to that. Like I guess I'm not going to know, say, name all of them. I'll just kind of show you. And then down there, we got some like pop rides, stuff like that. Up here, we have the uh, original Friday 13th poster with a Camp Crystal Lake little flag. I think I got that in a loot crate a long time ago. And then right here, this is also from the BAM box I was talking about. It is a signed photo from Zach Ward, who played uh, Bobby Davis in the Freddy vs. Jason uh, movie. So that's pretty cool. Next to that, a signed uh, photo from Matthew Lillard from Scream, which is really cool. I love that. Um, then this is the um, the box from Hellraiser. It's, it's a Rubik's Cube. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, some more little collectible things. This is uh, this is from Resident Evil. I don't remember which one, but it's like a throwing star. Um, some shot glasses that my mother-in-law got me. They're not really horror, but I like them, so they're there. Some more Funko-related type things. Uh, Jason Voorhees and Freddy, and then uh, Gremlin and Gizmo. Then underneath that is the Annabelle doll. Next to that is, well, I guess we'll go up here. Is a little... Freddy Krueger plushie with some uh, Universal Monster shot glasses that I also got from Universal. And then here we got the Chucky doll that you guys see in most of the videos. Same with that. And then this I just recently got, which is probably one of my favorite things I have right now. This I got this signed by uh, Nick Castle at a recent Comic Con. I was super excited for that. And then here's my Freddy Krueger glove that I've done an unboxing for. Underneath there, some more random things. I got a old Ouija board, some more Funko, some just random figurines. A Dawn of the Dead lunchbox back there. Down here, some more random Funko related things. Also a bunch of my books, um, comic books and ultimate guides, stuff like that. Then a Ouija board pillow right there, which is really uncomfortable, but it looks really cool. Like it's really nice looking. It's just super, super stiff. Um, 
more posters. I'm not going to talk about these posters. So they're not horror related. I'm just going to show them off. Some right there. A Godzilla one down there. And then more Funko. <laughs> like I said, I'm a big fan of Funko. This wall is entirely Disney. I'm a big fan of Disney. I love horror movies, but also love kitty movies. So, <laughs> so quite a few of those there. Some random books down here. I just don't know where I put them at. They're those um, pop-up books, the Star Wars and DC uh, superheroes ones. And then here, more. I guess we'll start up here. It looks like Thor actually just fell. So let me fix that real quick. All right, so I fixed Thor. He'll probably fall again, but it, he's standing up for the video at least. So some random statues and bigger uh, action figures. We got Red Hulk, Deadpool. Some random things out right there, Daredevil. And then here's like my um, few Dragon Ball Z collection collectibles I have. Um, I love Dragon Ball Z. I'm just not big into collecting the pops and the figures and stuff like that. So I do have a few statues. Um, so there's those. This, more Funko, like I said, I have a lot. You guys will see that in a second. This is my ad icons. Um, I kind of have most of these, you'll see in a second, kind of organized. But these are the ad icons. Uh, got the three uh, Halloween cereal pops right there. Below that are my chases. Um, now, I don't know, I mean, like I said, if you guys know about pops, you know what these are. If not, I mean, they're just a variant of the normal one. I guess the best way to explain it. So got a few of those there, some uh, Funko Pezzes. Yes, they Funko makes just about everything, <laughs> including Pezzes. Some more chases, and then at the very bottom shelf, um, Star Wars. So if we go over here, a few more signed uh, Funkos that I got out of um, also the band box that I was talking about before. Below that, these two shelves are my wife's shelves. This, she's a big Harry Potter fan, so these are all her Harry Potter ones. And then down below here, some more things she likes. Minions, Dumbo, uh, Dr. Seuss, stuff like that. Below that, some Power Rangers. I'm a big Power Ranger fan, so I got quite a few of those. And then the next shelf down is stuff more related to the channel. This is my horror ones. Um, I have a few in the living room where my uh, horror movies are at, so this isn't all of them. But these are like, I guess, my least favorite ones, I guess you could say, because most of my favorite ones I have in there with the horror movies. So we got a few there, we got Twisty the Clown, The Lost Boys. With another shelf down here, I have a lot of Pennywise's. There's a shit ton of those, I don't, that's not even all of them either. Um, then we have some from Supernatural. Then go up here, I'll show you some of these posters real quick. I'll just point out a couple. This one right here actually, that one. My friend made me for Christmas and um, it's got LED lights inside of that little vinyl piece and it glows. So I thought that was really cool. Some more. I'll just go ahead and show all the posters now. So there's those. Next shelf right here we have some more Power Ranger stuff. This is actually signed. I got this signed when I got the uh, Nick Castle. This is signed by Jason David Frank. The White Ranger, Green Ranger. I mean, he's been a lot of them. One of my biggest people I remember from my childhood. I used to love watching Power Rangers and he was always my favorite. Some more random things just back there thrown around. Here, this entire shelf all the way down is Marvel. It's right there, a ton of Deadpool. <laughs> More than I should probably have. Um, Captain America there. Here, a bunch of Spider-Man. Once again, probably more than I should have, but I love Spider-Man, so. Um, these are really cool. These are, um, well, this one and this one right here and that one up there. They're a cross between Venom and the specific character, like this one's Ghost Rider. Iron Man and Black Panther. Even more Marvel when you get down here. Um, Blade right there. Some more Iron Man, Daredevil. And this bottom shelf, I only have him right now. That one's empty because I've been doing some rearranging. So that's the Hulk Buster. That's the only one I have right there at the moment. Um, right here we have some of the 10 inch Funko Pops that they've been doing the past couple of years. Scrooge McDuck, uh, Hulk. T-Rex, and then just some more random miscellaneous collectibles. Here is my DC wall or shelf. Um, almost the same amount as, actually maybe a little bit more honestly than um, Marvel, which is surprising because I don't, I haven't bought any of these in a long time. Um, I have a few on order. So there's a couple here that should be, that's not here yet, so I can't show. Got some Hellboy, uh, a bunch of Batman. 
there. This is a new one I just got from the San Diego Comic Con uh, recently. More there, we got John Constantine, Beast Boy, and there's just a couple right there. Um, and then this wall, like I said, more posters. I love posters, there's quite a few there. And this is another thing that's just kind of randomly put together for now. I'm always moving stuff around this room. So just some random Funko, different mystery minis and stuff like that. These are Dorbs, which are also made by Funko. And I have a few of those. I'm not a big fan of these, I don't have a whole lot. Like this entire wall right here is going to be changed at some point. I don't like the way it looks. I'm just kind of doing, being a, do, putting what I can at the moment until I get better shelving. So right here, some more Power Ranger things. A uh, couple Pokemon um, Funkos. Uh, How to Train Your Dragon, I love that series. And then some more Power Ranger stuff down there. Then over here we have a terrifying Pee Wee Herman doll that my sister got and gave to me. And just a box full of stuff I'm getting rid of or selling. More random things over there. And then we're almost done, guys. So if you're not liking this video, sorry, but we're almost done. So just some random books up there that I really didn't have a spot for. Some random statues and stuff like that. All right, sorry about that, guys. The uh, batteries in my mic died. So I'm just gonna do a brief on this wall again because I couldn't tell where the video audio stopped. So like I said, um, Marvel Legends figures right here. Some I have a lot, just most of them are boxed up. Um, so in the taller uh, Marvel Legends set. And then here's some Transformers. Um, I don't have too many of those. I love Transformers. I'm just not very knowledgeable about them. Um, I, I've, I've, I've read a few of the books, watched the anime and stuff like that. So I don't have a whole bunch of those. A few down there, Bumblebee, Megatron. And then right there's just some random stuff that I don't know where to put. So they're just there. Um, I didn't actually point this out though. This is a BB-8. It has a remote somewhere on where it's at, but it's pretty cool. You can put it on follow mode. And it's a, basically like an RC car. Um, it's, it's really fun to play with. Here, some more Funko, bigger ones that I just don't have place for. And then below that, some uh, vans, uh, Deadpool themed vans. And then the wall, the last wall I'm about to show you guys is probably the best wall in my personal opinion. I just hit the mic, I bet that was loud, sorry. Um, did a lot of moving around and rearranging and unboxing and boxing pops to do this wall. So I'll kind of show it all at once. So this is my Marvel MCU wall right here. Um, took a lot of moving and this is like a cabinet that you see at like a jewelry store or something like that I found off online. So we'll just kind of go through this real quick. Infinity War poster right there. Probably the best poster they've had in a while in my opinion. Um, this one right here my friend got me at the uh, went to the re-release of Endgame so he picked this up for me. It's really cool. It says we love you 3000. And then next to this is a life-size scale um, Marvel Legends, the same company that made those figures, uh, Captain America Shield. Like it actually has the uh, straps inside and everything, that's what it's being held up with. And then a in-game poster right there along with some more art prints, Thanos and Captain Marvel from the band box. Next to a DC versus uh, Marvel uh, like fan art picture. And then a Spider-Man Homecoming poster right there. And this is like my statues and stuff. This is a Thanos statue next to a old school Iron Man looking one. Um, this is also made by the same guy that makes the shield and all those toys. It was supposed to be turned on. I had it on to show for the video, but I'm going to move the helmet. This might be really loud, so just be prepared. <laughs> well, let's see if it'll... Oh, no, it's not wanting to... Batteries might be dead in it. Let me see if I can turn it on real quick. There's a button here. There we go. Right, so this is really cool. Um, it's you can wear it and every you can wear it if you want. But this actually opens up. I do with one hand, and then you can actually set it like that, which is really cool. And then it just goes magnetizes back on like that next to a Thor hammer, also made by the same company. I meant to turn this one on, but I forgot to. Um, let's see if I can turn it on with one hand. There you go, so that's really cool. 
Um, then here, I've been messing with uh, making my own stands. Turn this off because I think it'll keep going. Messing with my own like action figure stands. Um, so this is just something I've messed with. So this is an Iron Man. Looking like he's flying next to um, an arc reactor from the newest from Inga or Infinity War. Um, it magnetizes, so you can actually put it on your chest or something if you wanted to, and it glows in the dark. So that's really cool. Um, next to that, we have a custom Stan Lee Infinity Gauntlet pop. Uh, the next to that, we have an Ant Man helmet, um, also made by Marvel Legends. Uh, it also turns on, um, you can change the color, I think it goes to red. Um, this one's also wearable, but sadly I was very upset. I was hoping some of this would come off like the movie, but none of this comes off. You just sit it right on your head. So, but it's still really cool. Um, they have a few more I want to get. They have a Black Panther one. Yeah, that thing just randomly comes on. They have a Black Panther one and a, um, what else do they have? Uh, Star Lord. Um, right here's another uh, stand I've tried messing with. This is the uh, War Machine Legend. Right here we have Iron Heart, which I love the look of the statue. I'm not a big fan of hers, so I'm really wanting to get a new statue to replace for that spot. But at the moment, that's what we have. So that's not really MCU, like a lot of this is, but it's just something I have at the moment. Next to a uh, uh, Gladiator Hulk statue. And then I'll show this, I didn't show this before, but this is one of those wooden like posters from uh, Captain America. Uh, when Wakes the Sleeper, uh, old comic book. And below that are a lot of my Funkos from the MCU. I'm not gonna name all these, but it's quite a few there. And it's kind of picked out some of my favorite ones to put over here for this display. And then below that are uh, just some out of box ones and stuff like that. So, and then that's pretty much it, guys, because then you turn around and there's that. So, that's the end of the room tour, guys. All right, so that's the room tour, guys. Um, I mean, that's everything I have in here at the moment. There's a lot of stuff I've boxed up from when we moved to this house. Um, there's a lot of stuff that for this shelf that I wish I could put on here, but it's not a very big shelf and all of it's boxed up. And I mean, there's a bunch more Funko Pops, statues, stuff like that that's just not in here at the moment. Um, so, I mean, this is my little man cave of random stuff that I probably shouldn't have, but I love it so much. I love collecting these things. And if you guys do too, comment below, you know, if you guys enjoy Funko or statues, whatever, you know, everyone, everyone loves something to collect usually. Um, so let's talk about that down below in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later.